If you've just got a brand new Roku device or you're someone who's been using it for a while, there are certain settings that you should know about to keep your privacy safe and prevent your Roku from tracking your activity and using your data for targeted advertising. In this video, I'll show you how to avoid being tracked and get the most out of your Roku. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. So let's get started by taking a look at the settings you need to check and turn off to keep your personal information safe and secure. Plus, stick around to the end and I will show you a secret menu that will allow you to turn off that large annoying advert. Let's start off at your Roku home screen. Select settings, then scroll up to find and choose the privacy option. Then select Advertising and scroll down to Personalize Ads. With this enabled, this allows Roku to tailor adverts to your personal preferences and sharing your information with other companies. Select the Personalize Ads option and then press the OK button to uncheck this box. If you see a prompt again, Select Don't Personalize My Ads. Next, press the back button on your remote, then scroll to the voice option and select it. Next, scroll down to speech recognition. If this option is checked, you are allowing Roku to store your speech. To uncheck this box, highlight it and press the OK button. It's also worth noting that with speech recognition turned off, none of your speech will be stored or saved, even if you've allowed channel microphone access. Press the back button on your remote three times to return to the settings. Then scroll down to find and select theme. Within these settings, I suggest turning off the screensaver because it consumes system resources unnecessarily every time it is activated. Additionally, disabling it will prevent any advertisements that Roku may display on your device in the future. To turn it off, scroll down this list to find and select screensavers. Next, scroll down again to find and select Screensaver Start Time, then tap over to the right to disable Screensaver and select it. Press the back button on your remote and scroll down this same list to find and select sponsored wallpapers. Now I recommend turning this feature off as this is another way of allowing Roku to change your device's wallpapers to advertise upcoming TV shows and movies that they want you to watch. Press the back button twice, then select display type. This setting will default to automatic. However, to prevent apps from changing your screen resolution, you can lock it down to your preferred resolution by selecting it from here. Press the back button once on your remote and let's now take a look at accessibility. This section is designed to provide extra help to those who need it. For example, if you require extra help from subtitles, or you want subtitles in a different language, you can access these settings from here. You can also turn on Screen Reader, which will announce information that is displayed on your screen. 
you have the option to configure this to your liking. Press the back button once and then select audio from the menu. Here you can adjust the volume of sound that plays when browsing menus. Now I prefer to turn this off as it can get annoying. Press the back button once on your remote. This section allows you to customise your home screen by controlling certain preferences. For example, if you set the what to watch option to hide, it will be removed from the menu. The same can be done to either show or hide the save list option. Additionally, there are shortcuts available. You can create a shortcut to add channels, which creates a shortcut to the Roku channel store. The TV off option lets you turn off compatible TVs using your Roku. Press the back button twice, then scroll down to find and select system. This is where you can check for any available updates for your Roku device. It's a good idea to do this, especially if you've had your device for a while. Here, you also have the option to restart your device. Additionally, selecting advanced system settings gives you the option to do a factory reset. This can be helpful if your device is experiencing issues or if you plan on selling your Roku device. As promised at the start of the video, I am going to show you a way to turn off the big advert on your Roku device. To do this, get your remote and press the following buttons in this order. Home, 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 up, right, down, left, up. After completing those steps, a secret menu will appear. Within this menu, you can turn off the large advertisement. Scroll down the list on the right hand side and find cycle scrollable ads. Click on it until the information on the left hand side of the screen changes from default to always disabled. Next, scroll down the list on the right until you find the cycle home screen ad banner server. Click on it to change the information on the left hand side of the screen from production to demo three. We've now finished with this secret menu, so return to your Roku home screen by pressing the home button on your remote. This should now have turned off the large advert. However, if it hasn't worked, try restarting your Roku device. You may need to do a restart several times for the changes to take effect. If the advert is still not stopping, even after following the previous steps, then on rare occasions, depending on your country, you may need to go back into the secret menu and change the Cycle Home Screen Ad Banner Server to Demo 1 or Demo 2. Once you've done that, press your home button, restart your device and check if the advert has stopped. I hope that you found this video helpful and it covered all of the settings you should look at on your Roku device. If there are any others that you would like to change or turn off, let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable to watch. If you did, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for even more awesome tech tips and product reviews. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before and NordVPN is an excellent choice. 
I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Firestick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days. If you did, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for even more awesome tech, 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 tech tips and product reviews.